Hi, and welcome to the first video in the AP Computer Science Principles course. This video will be a high-level overview of why it's important to learn computer science and what AP Computer Science Principles is all about. So first off, computer science. It's awesome, it's everywhere, and it's for everyone. No matter who you are, you're absolutely interacting with and affected by computers every day and you can learn computer science in order to harness the power of this technology and apply it to whatever you're interested in. Computer science is affecting every industry, every field, and really every aspect of our modern society. Take art, for example. Digital art has become one of the most widely used mediums for art. And no matter what medium you're using, thanks to technology, artists have been able to collaborate, share ideas, and share their own creations with the world. Thanks to technology, we have sounds, beats, and full songs that are being made that never would have been possible before technology. Technology can be used in agriculture to monitor crops and predict future yield. Here we have a blind person who is actually able to see thanks to a camera implanted on a pair of sunglasses that is sending signals to the person's tongue. We're also able to model outbreaks of disease thanks to technology. We can gather data from people all over the world, try to track the symptoms, and try to prevent widespread outbreak of disease. Thanks to the internet, we're able to stay in touch with our friends, we're able to immediately send messages across the globe, and we're able to hear news from all over the world instantly. No matter what you're interested in, computer science is about innovation. Computer science allows you to create. We have things that exist in the world now and are being used every day thanks to computer science that 10, 20, 30 years ago never would have existed. And computer science is quickly changing. Someone who was alive back in the days when computers took up entire rooms and took weeks to compute the simplest calculations could now very well own their own iPhone and be checking their email, calling their grandchildren, and sending text messages. Computer graphics are changing quickly as well. Computers are no longer used for these simplistic 2D video games. Now we're making incredible visualizations, 3D movies, and virtual realities that are incredibly imaginative. And it's all thanks to computers. In fact, there's an observation called Moore's Law that points out this incredible rate of change in computers. According to Moore's Law, the processing power of a computer should double every two years. That's an exponential increase in the rate of processing. And so far, the actual rate of increase has held pretty closely to the theoretical rate. We have computers now that are performing operations in seconds that used to take weeks. Pretty soon we'll be having computers that are so powerful that we can't even imagine what the applications could be. In addition to all of this innovation and rapid change that comes along with computer science, computer science is really about a new way of thinking about problems. It's about breaking problems down into their most simplistic, bite-sized chunks and instructing a computer about how to solve these problems. Thinking computationally is a very important skill that can be applied to all types of problems. There's plenty of downsides that come along with computer science as well. Because we're starting to rely so heavily on technology for our critical infrastructure, things like communication, transportation, food, water, a cyber criminal could actually hack into the software that's responsible for monitoring and controlling these systems, causing a lot of damage. We've also come to a point where so much of our personal data is available for hackers to take. Things like credit card information, health records, these things are all stored on the internet. And if a cyber criminal is clever enough, they may be able to access this information. What it really comes down to is that it's up to us to be informed about how technology is used and what the best practices are to defend ourselves from these attacks. So as you can see, computer science is a very important skill to acquire. AP Computer Science Principles is an introduction to the most important topics of computer science. So what is APCSP all about? It's about understanding the core principles behind this technology that's changing the world. It's about learning how to break down problems and solve them computationally. It's about giving you the tools and skills you need for you to invent, create, and express yourself with these new technologies. And it's about becoming an informed and responsible user of technology. So with that, welcome to AP Computer Science Principles. I hope you enjoy the course.